Alright, all you chads and chadettes, welcome to Venom TTV's uh, first video for the clinic server, doing some tutorials as well as some teaching and training. Uh, on today's video, we are going to show the new economy and shop system that is located in the server. So let's look over here. So this is the server that I currently play on, uh, that I'm building the video for. Uh, it's the Clinic Mod of PVE, uh, one of a, a newer server, a couple months old now, uh, starting to grow in population and starting to add new features to it. Uh, so as we add new features to the server, uh, I will be publishing videos to help teach the members, like what is it that is being added? Why did we add it? And how do you use like new plugins or new features as well too? Uh, so as wipe day is only a couple days away, uh, we have a new shop opening to do vehicles and purchases using economies within the game. Uh, I think it's pretty important that somebody puts out a video here to explain to everybody like what is going on and how do I use it. So that being said, like this is where you'll find myself, you'll find others. If you have questions about how to use things, you'll find this in the Discord, which is located here. Just look for Venom TTV uh, and just pop your questions uh, and I'll happily get back to you with any answers. Uh, that I have. So with that being said, we'll kind of hop into it. All right, so we have a new shop. We have a new, two new shops actually, uh, as well as an internal economy system. So I think first and foremost, what we'll start with is uh, the balance, right? Like how do you check the money in your bank account, as well as what are ways that you can ultimately build your economy. So checking your balance is pretty easy. You just go into uh, normal game chat, type in backslash balance, and then boom, you'll get a balance there. So I have 78,478, uh, whatever dollars, right? Doesn't matter. But that's what I got. That's my economy. So how do you build your economy, right? Well, there's a couple ways that your economy grows. One is based on time spent on the server. So for every X amount of time you spend within the server, you receive a reward uh, of economy into your bank account, right? That's one way. Uh, another way is through uh, normal gameplay things, such as uh, harvesting ma uh, harvesting mats, um, killing zombies or killing animals. That sounds wrong. Uh, but they all provide you with some sense of a bonus. Um, there's a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there that's added to your shop as well too, right? Like those are the easy ways, just time-based and normal playing. Uh, there's also a shop mode where you can sell things back and i think this is what a lot of people don't know so now that you know how to do the balance how do you actually use the shop so you go to backslash shop in normal chat and then you get a shop right and the way i kind of constructed this was I, I took a lot of the items and then split them out into multiple categories so finding things would be easier there is no search bar here so you kind of have to like look at the categories and figure out like what is it that I want and there's your balance there. So we have weapons, construction, normal things. I split out attire and full body suits so you can find those a little bit differently. Uh, there's also a scroll down. So we have also like themes, Halloween themes, Christmas themes, uh, like miscellaneous fun items. Uh, we do have a bone exchange. Um, we put that in here as well too. And you have vehicle parts, but not vehicles. And we'll get to that in a second. But going back to the original point, we have the sellables box. And in the sellables box, you'll see we have all these different things that you can sell to the shop to get currency back, right? And how does this work? So it says $0 for this bleach, right? So if I get the bleach, does that mean it's worth nothing? That is incorrect in the sellables option. You will just click on the box and you'll see for every two bleach, you can sell, uh, you'll get $1 back, right? And as you click through, right, two for one here, two for one here, you need four fertilizer for one here, high qual is one to one, and you can click into this box and you can put like 100. And then you just press sell, and it'll adjust for 100, and then you'll sell it. I don't have the high quality in my bank account or in my pocket, but that is how that'll work. So those are for all the things that have zero dollars on it, right? You click on it, it automatically goes to sell. But what about these things that have prices associated to it? Well, now we're going to the actual buying economies of the game. So that's everything you can sell, two pages worth. You have your corn, your cards, your scrap, 
everything there. We do buy back Boom as well too. Uh, but what about the things that have dollars on the actual block itself? Well, that means you can buy it, right? And for 25 uh, economy dollars, I will get 250 cooked metal frags, right? But it's in my sellables option. So if it's telling me that I can buy this, how do I sell it? Well, in the top right corner, you'll see this little uh, swishy symbol. I don't know what the hell it's called, a little swishy thing. If you click the swishy thing, it'll tell you that you could sell 250 metal frags for six bucks. So you can go back and say buy 250 for 25 or sell 250 for six, right? And that's kind of how the shop goes here for the sellables. Easy peasy, done deal. And I'll show you, I guess, while I'm here, right? Like if I want to buy it, successfully purchase 250 metal frags, and then I can turn around and sell it back. And then I successfully took it back. And you can see my balance moves in alignment with what I just did, right? Like, boom, lost 25, gained 6, right? And so you'll find all those in all these different categories. What you'll also notice is that in some of these, there is a symbol next to the price itself, right? So a diesel, buying one diesel is worth 450 low grade in the shop. So this is telling you that the economy associated to this product is actually not the balance uh, from your economy. It's actually a different currency that will buy this. So in this case, it's low grade will buy you diesel. Same thing for bone exchange. As you can see, to get 100 animal fat, you need 150 bones. 20 bear meat, 150 bones. 50 cloth, 150 bones. So in some of these things you'll notice, and not many of them, you'll notice that the economy needed to buy these is different from your normal balance. And so that's how you procure things and buy things uh, in the system, right? Easy peasy. Going to the last bit that you need to know is vehicle buying. How do I buy vehicles because they're not here if I want to play the game? That is a different shop. Same economy though. You'll go into regular chat and you'll just type in vehicle buy. And up pops your vehicle procurement list or your vehicle procurement shop. Two pages worth, you got your snowmobiles, you got your helicopters, your boats, your subs. It does say eco test, don't worry about that. It is the same as the economy in the other shop. So if you buy or sell in either one, it's the same economy. And so what we'll do here is you just select buy on a mini. It'll show up as a large box, which should eventually turn over into a heli. Yep, there you go. And to place it, it'll be a large box. And then once you put it down, up comes your mini. And the same thing for everything else. One thing to know is in the vehicle buy shop, if you buy something that is um, needed for uh, water, you have to be in the water to deploy it. So we'll get a rib. I bought a rib. I cannot place the rib on land. Am I close to water? I am not close to water. Um, but yeah, you'll have to deploy these in um, actual water areas. So you can't drop boats anywhere anymore. So cool. So those are the two shops that you have, right? So just a quick rundown. You get backslash balance. That shows you how much is in your economy. You get backslash shop. That brings you to your normal shop where you can buy and sell. And then you get backslash vehicle buy. And that pulls up your vehicles. Cool. Well, hopefully this is informative. This new uh, economy will populate on the November wipe or this upcoming wipe. Uh, so if you have any questions, please reach out to me, uh, Venom TTV. Uh, please join the Discord, join the server. You'll find me there. Uh, we'll start publishing more videos around tutorials uh, around electric, electrical components. They're actually already queued up, but I pivoted to this video because I figured there's going to be a lot of questions on the economy and how does it work uh, versus how do I set up like pretty unique electrical components. So hopefully you like the video. Please let me know of any feedback. And if anything, please reach out. If not, happy hunting all you chads and chadettes. And I'll talk to you in the next video.